The idea, I have something to say to the world about the state of the world, does spook me out a bit. But I am a storyteller, and that means if there are stories inside trying to come out, then they must come out. And that is the case with Now I Am Here. It's a story that came out because I felt I needed to say something about what I saw or what I heard in the world. Um, I'll sidestep a little and say that as a child, somebody told me once that other people were myself in another shape. And I didn't really understand that concept back then. But a result of this information was I looked at people and tried to figure out what were they like, what were the differences between myself and them, why did they do this thing or another. And that wasn't only the people I saw in the street or my parents or things like that. Every time there would be an article on the news or in the paper, I'd read it and I'd wonder why did this person do that? Why did that person do that? And then getting older, I found myself watching the world, really watching the world as if it's this gigantic television and seeing little things and translating many of those things into stories. So now back to this idea of having something to say. When I was young, there was this idea that we should be polite to one another, we should have compassion for one another. And over the years, this seems to have disappeared. Now it could be my perception has changed or we are less compassionate, we are harder. Um, one of the things that has bubbled up is this pointing at the other. The other is wrong, the other is this, the other is that. Forgetting that the other is us. You know, They have different circumstances, but they live and breathe and move and do things just like we do. And we seem to have forgotten that. And so the 20th century was marked by tremendous brutality. I mean, horrific stuff. There's still brutality going on. But it's almost as if we sort of see the Second World War, First World War, Rwanda as something far away, and bad people as people who are far away. They have nothing to do with us. And I believe, no, these people are us. They are amongst us. They are within us. And so I decided to, rather than jump up and shout and say we're being bad and we're being horrible to one another, to write a book and try and show how a very ordinary human being makes certain choices and those choices lead to some of the most vile behavior you can imagine and all the while keeping this person as a human being so not transforming them into a cartoon monster and the aim of doing this was so that people could read or listen to the audio version and wonder themselves is this possible is this viable and hopefully get a discussion and that would be my contribution to needing to say something about the state of the world we're in today.